So this not Billings? What, what street is it? The former bus driver in this video is about to get stabbed. He calls the 15 line he used to drive high risk. It's RTD's most heavily traveled route along Colfax Avenue. We are put right dead in the middle of an environment where you have violent people, you have pe people who are criminal. And who's more of a perfect, convenient target to take out some of that frustration than a driver of a bus? When Kali Obaki asks his last passenger to get off at the end of the route, the man throws what appears to be a banana at him. <laughs> and after the two fight it out, <laughs> Baki's shirt sleeve is soaked with blood. It was a deep gash, three to four inch gash. We're in constant danger. I mean, it's not an easy job. Baki says RTD later fired him because he pursued the fight with the passenger. His security incident was among dozens the problem solvers uncovered on public transportation in 2021. We found nearly 30% of official driver complaints came from that same route and a similar one along Colfax. <laughs> Through an open records request. Yeah. Yeah. We also found passengers dumping drinks and food on drivers <laughs> and making verbal and physical threats like this. I've always felt that they definitely need to get security on the buses, on the routes that they know pose constant problems. I look and I think, yeah, we're going to fix this. We got to figure this out. Bus union president Lance Longenbon says police and security response times are often slow and the process for getting help is challenging. Rather than somebody reporting something to the people who can actually do something about it, they report it to dispatch or control and then control has to report it. You know, it's, it's a daisy chain rather than a direct report. We do not have the ability to provide um, security personnel to outfit every single one of our buses or our trains. Deborah Johnson is the general manager and CEO for RTD. What we're doing is looking at the incidents and discerning where is the greatest problem and then allocating resources that are available to actually help mitigate those circumstances. So that's happening now. You're actively looking at these things now and we'll yes. be doing something different in the future based on data that you're looking at now. Is that accurate? I would say it's accurate, but I need people in order to optimize mitigating circumstances. Johnson says finding those people is a challenge. The problem solvers obtained the multi-million dollar contract between RTD and Allied Universal, the company that provides as many as 300 personnel, some armed, and some who work as ambassadors answering questions about using RTD. But we found the security company is 25% understaffed. And we discovered RTD fined the company more than $150,000 in 2021 for failing to provide required personnel on the commuter rail lines. Everybody's having a staffing shortage. That's not to absolve us of the responsibility to create a safe and secure environment. I'm just qualifying what some of the obstacles are as we go forward. RTD also relies on 20 sworn transit police officers. A 2021 expert review panel recommended RTD beef up their presence and reduce the contracted security officers, which have less training. The summer review also found the transit officers at the time lacked specific law enforcement authority in the city and county of Denver. In July, transit police gained power to write misdemeanor tickets at Union Station. But the bus operators say the problems there continue and they spill onto public transportation. I want to ensure that there is a safe working environment, but I can't do that when I'm dealing with issues that are plaguing society as a whole.